right, guys, I am joined by the lovely, charismatic Paul Grogan. Oh, hi. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yes. So, Sunday morning. Yeah. So you're going to show us a few games? Yes. So these aren't out yet? No, no. Although this is a fairly um, good production copy because we got a new printer at CG recently. Um, but this is Codenames Duet. So this is our prototype front cover of the box. We may not use green. We may, we, okay. We're not sure yet. But this is a prototype. Uh, and currently... I'm doing demos of the game using words from the original game. Right, so okay. If you, if you notice that all these words are familiar, because I know you've memorised them all. Um, <laughs> yeah, obviously. That is true. Now, when we actually release the game, we're going to do a whole set of new words. Right, okay. I think we're going to move maybe 100 over from the base game. Okay. But we're going to do loads of extra words in there. Um, so Codenames Duet is designed as a two-player game, but it can actually be played with more than two people. Okay. So, um, and it's cooperative. Right. So the big difference is it's a, it's a fully cooperative game. Uh, there's three ways to lose and there's only one way to win. Right, okay. Now, the people on the camera will notice that they can see a grid. We can also see a grid, okay? The grids are two-sided. So basically, there are 15 green agents. Mm -hmm. Again, we may not settle on the colour oh, green. Oh, green, yeah. We, if we were playing together as this side, we know where nine of them are. Right. And the other team, who are imaginary people sat there, they know where nine of them are. Okay, but and they're not the same... Three of them are. Okay. Three of them are the same, but the other six are unique to us. Right. Our assassin is a bystander on that side, and their assassin is a bystander on this side. So we're assuming people know how to play code names. Yep. If you don't, go and watch the code names video first, and then this one. So the way that it works is that anybody can go first and gives a clue just like normal code names. Yep. So I've got a clue of Armadillo 3. And as soon as you give a clue, you pick up this stack of tiles. Okay. Okay. And then the other team will guess, and let's say they guess that one because armadillos wear crowns and they like carrots and they live in New York, for example, right? These go on there. Right. So every time you give a clue, you pick up the next stack and then right. when you finish, you put them on there. Yep. If this runs out, you lose the game. Okay. The way you win the game is by getting rid of everything that's currently in your hand. Okay. So you don't need to get them all, you just need to get rid of everything that's in your hand. Sure. The way the game plays, the first time I played it, I was like, oh, this is clever, because you can start to work out what the three are that are the same because of the clues that the that other... You're giving He's given a clue, yeah. like kitchen, and I'm, I'm like, oh, well, oh, hang on a minute, knife's one of ours, Yeah. so it must be one of theirs as well. Yeah. So and once you've got the three duplicates, you then start to use that information <laughs> to your advantage. So as I say, it is, it is a great two-player game, but you can actually play. I played it yesterday with six people, with three on each side. Um, I've not gone into all the details of how the bystanders work, but that's pretty much how it plays. Cool. That, it does look really good, and the thing is, is I love code names, mm -hmm. but it's not very often I get a big group of gamers together. Right. So the fact that you can play this as a two-player yeah. game, and it's fully cooperative, yep. really appealing, yeah. especially to someone like me who plays a lot of two-player games. There you go. So, yeah. excellent. And any kind of rough date when... We, we have to be in the past two years, we've all released, always released the Codenames game at Gen Con. Okay. So we're aiming for a Gen Con release for this, right. which means it'll be available in the UK September time, okay. I think. Um, and, yeah. Now, the actual game is not originally designed by Flyjo. Okay. Uh, I can't remember the name of the guy that did it, so apologies for that, but he's a guy who came up with a two-player variant using a two-player grid contacted us and said I what do you think of this and Vlad, like, yes. Vlad, <laughs> loved it yeah um, we haven't stolen his idea and we're going to print it he's going to be included in, in the credits awesome. of it Excellent. Um, but yeah CG have taken the idea tweaked it worked on it uh, developed it a bit and uh, yeah this is what we're going to do cool excellent so. so on to the next game yes the very uninspiringly named questions game now <laughs> this is a completely working title we it, it will be called something proper yeah sure uh, and this is a definite prototype everything you see here is probably just clip art off google and <laughs> all completely prototype components uh this is another larger game uh this is a group party game okay. Vlager doesn't like to consider code names as a party game but okay this one definitely is um, this is quite a different game. Basically, the idea of the game is that you're asking difficult questions to the other players, who then have to answer them honestly, and then the other players have to guess the answer that you're going to give. Okay. A number of other games use a similar mechanic. This one is a little bit different. So there are three main questions that you ask somebody. Uh, what would you rather choose? What would you miss more if it ceased to exist? And what do you generally consider worse? Okay. Now, the answers, you actually have five of these answer cards in your hand. 
and you'll notice that each one has got answers to each of the questions. Yeah. So the skill in the game is actually going, oh right, well, uh, yeah, I've got a really, really good question for that person. Okay. So I will say, which would you rather choose uh, to be able to change your appearance into that of someone else or to win several gold medals in the Olympics? And the idea of it is that you're supposed to give them a not obvious choice. You're supposed to give them something that's difficult for them to choose. Okay. So a knowledge of the person does help. Yes. Although we played it yesterday with people who didn't know each other and they still enjoyed it and they learnt a lot about each other. Yeah. So the person who is asking the question, they will decide using their their card whether they pick A or B separately. And then everybody else will pick whether they think it's A or B. Right. If you get it right, you get a point. The person who asked the question will score points for every incorrect answer. Okay. So that's why you want to give them a difficult question. Yeah, so, so it's that not some clear people cut. get it wrong. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and then you discard those, draw two more, go round. Whoever's furthest ahead at the end of the game wins. Okay. There's a couple of extra bits, but that's that's pretty much it. All oh, right. That's, okay. That's that's how it works. Um, I think it's one of those games that will definitely work better with people that, that you know. Yes, I can understand that. Um, and of all the people that I've demoed it to this weekend, some groups have not liked it so much, and other groups have, have loved it. Yeah, I think so. um, just from your like sort of, uh, brief overview of it, it definitely strikes me as one of those games that's going to sort of split the party in terms of some yeah. people are going to love this, and some people it's just not going to be their cup of nope. tea at all. Whereas Codenames, I think, is very widely acceptable yeah. amongst lots of different people. Yeah. This one is probably a little bit more more niche okay but and so this obviously it's a prototype yes um time scale on this i'm not is there sure any... about this one no okay not sure um i mean essen is the day where we've traditionally released everything right okay. it's only in the last couple of years we've brought one forward to gen con we may be able to bring this forward to gen con as well the rules are pretty much done it's coming up with the questions the questions and making them interesting and tricky and difficult sure and yeah. what vlog has done is as I was going through all of these questions to make the English slightly better, yeah. I went, oh, this, this one's actually really similar to this one. And he went, yeah, that's the point. So right. that when those come out at the same time, so there's one of them which is um, cheats on their spouse and confesses it later. Right. Or something very, very similar it's, to yeah. that. A lot of fa- finds their best friend is cheating on their spouse and doesn't tell them or some. And you're like, there you go. Which one of them? <laughs> and you're like... Oh yeah. So yeah, quite quite difficult questions. I think relationships might be destroyed in this game. Yeah, I was well. going to say with those kind of questions, probably. Yes. Um, okay then. Yeah. So and that is that's a working title. So it's definitely not... a working title. We came up with about half a dozen ideas last weekend when I was over in the Czech Republic, all of which no, not not everybody liked the right. idea. I came up with I thought was a really good name <laughs> yeah. for the game, and the marketing team went, "Well, we can't use that. It won't work in America." And I'm like. Oh, okay. So, yeah, lots of people have got lots of ideas. We haven't decided on anything. So, at the moment, largest of our question game. Okay. <laughs> Adrenaline expansion. Excellent. I'm sure we'll come up with a better <laughs> name than the Adrenaline expansion. So, it's everything you love about Adrenaline, but with a sixth character. Right. Now, one of the reasons why we are putting the sixth character in is so we can allow for team play. Okay. So, the, the main sort of theme of this expansion is going to be team-based games. And we've got this set up for uh, a three by three on three game and the game's going to come with snap bases so that you can identify which is the red team which is the yellow team slightly better quality than bits of yeah, cardboard sure. I, I assume now at the <laughs> moment this, this is a prototype so everything you see here is is a complete prototype we're just testing it but it seems to be working quite well the big difference with the team game that at the moment is every character has their own unique set of weapons Right, okay. They start with these weapons in hand, loaded, and ready to go. And these weapons, they're designed to give that character, basically, like, a, this is how that character works. This card will combo with that one. Right. So the characters all work in different ways. Um, you can have any three against any three. So, of course, that will mix up how, how the games play. Um, all of the area scoring system of the way that the points used to work in the base game forget that right because it is literally just it doesn't matter who does the damage whenever they take the damage it's a kill and that team gets points wow so you don't need to worry about oh i need to do one damage there and damage here 
the so way it's you, less about every man for themselves. Oh yeah, it, it is definitely a team game. Now, cool. the way that the turn sequence works is quite clever and, and very simple. But there are each team has a set of initiative cards, okay, which you can see here. And at the start of the game, you'll shuffle these, and you'll deal them out, and that's it for the whole game. Wow. Okay. So what the initiative it, never changes. Never then. changes. Now, what it means is, say we're the starting team. Yep. Initiative value one. So these characters take their turn simultaneously. Okay. Then initiative one on the opponent's team. Then initiative two. So it's now you two. Yeah. Right. And when it's simultaneous, you can do it in whatever order you want. So it could be this guy does two actions. So this woman does two actions. Uh, then this character does two, or one, and then two, and then one. So when we were demoing this yesterday, it was adrenaline, but it was a completely different game. Because yeah. straight away, everybody's going, oh, right, well, if you tag them here, and yeah. then I shoot them. And they, exactly. It's the, more about working together rather than just yes. trying to get as many kills Absolutely. as you can. Absolutely. I think one of the comments we got yesterday was that a lot of the game was spent in actually discussing what we were going to do. Yeah. But there was almost no downtime because everybody was always in discussion with each other, talking about yeah. what we're going to do. So it was really cool to see that people were actually coordinating their moves together uh, and acting like that. Uh, so, it looks really good because it actually means that I have a chance of potentially winning. Yes. Because at the moment when I play with my family, they just all gang up on me uh, naturally. Uh, you see. So that everybody goes <laughs> after me. And I'm like, yeah, there's this just no point in me actually playing. Yeah. So yeah. So um, yeah. Team game. This is team deathmatch. We're also working on some other modules, which if we can't get them working, we're not going to release them. So we're looking at capture the flag. We've tried a couple of suggestions. They're not really working properly. Right. We're, we're still looking to see if we can get one that actually actually works. That's really well. good because rather than just doing something for the sake of doing it, you're actually looking at it and say, yeah. actually, does this work with this game? No, then we won't do it. We won't. We won't. We won't do it. And that's one of the things that I do like about CG games is they won't just publish something no. for the sake of it. No. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so yeah. So this is the adrenaline expansion, as I say, the sixth character, which won't be just be one of the other ones painted red. It will. It's, it's getting its own figure. The individual personalised weapons. We're looking at some other things to put in the expansion as well. But again, if, if we can't get them working, won't we won't get them working. One of the new mechanics is poison, and one of the characters does poison in a special way. You can go around poisoning characters, right. which does something, um, and then he can actually use characters if they're poisoned. He gets a bonus against them and things that, okay. that and the other. Excellent. Yeah. And timeline on this? This will be an Essen release. So, Essen release? Yes, this will be, this will be for Essen. Excellent. So, um, yeah. And I think that's... that's yeah, all. we've got a couple of other bits in, in the workings at the moment, but probably not enough to show people. We've got a Tash Kalara expansion that we're working okay. on. We've got a Through the Ages expansion that we're working on. Yeah, I think you spoke about that. At, last uh, year? Yeah, last year. So and then we didn't manage to get it finished last year. Right. So, Hopefully yeah, you said they didn't want to rush it. So again, again, larger with a game like Through the Ages that's perfectly balanced. I yeah. use that because I think it is. Some people don't think it is, but Fair it's very enough. well balanced. Yeah. You add in some extra cards. He's very nervous about shifting the balance of the game, sure. so he wants to be very careful about yeah, it. Yeah, which makes perfect sense. Yeah. Excellent. So. Okay. Well, thank you for showing us those it's games. Right. Hopefully, you guys at um, at home enjoyed that, and it's giving you something to look forward to, especially from CGE. Got a really good track record. I've really I've been really enjoying the stuff that they've been putting out uh, just of late. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Cool, cheers.